Today we need to get into V getting allegedly mocked online and what sick people online might be saying. We also have V believed to be in a sensitive clip and it's believed that Blinks posted it. We also have an idol getting backlash over her posting her sexuality and what went on with that. Say dumplings and save decide hater or not make sure you subscribe with the notification bell on. Grab your dumpling, a taste bling bug merch and let's go. We need to get into an idol recently posting her sexuality online and how this story went viral and people were really freaking out about it. If you are not aware of what is going on, let me give some backstory and everything and catch you up. There is this reality show called Girls Planet 999. The show is a competition show where various girls from China, Japan, and South Korea compete to eventually debut in a nine-member girl group. These shows are widely popular in Korea and have shown significant success in actually creating stars. Stars from Produce 101 almost always gain some significant recognition in Girls Planet 999 as well. One of the girls from the show named Fu Yangin, she actually gained a lot of attention through some controversial actions, and one of them being when she insulted a member from the popular group Kepler. And it was believed she denied everything once the backlash happened and claimed that the broadcast made it appear like an insult due to the editing. So we won't know what actually happened. However, recently she was on another backlash for apparently wearing sexuality like a costume. And this story is insane. Recently, Fu Yangin posted online photos on Instagram and it was a series of beautiful selfies. One of the photos she posted in the series was a picture of her writing, I have a girlfriend on a piece of paper. This was insane. Initially, everyone thought maybe this was her coming out or whatever it was. However, she explained in the caption that the reason she said this or wrote this was because a guy was hitting on her and she wanted wanted to get him to go away and thought that saying she had a girlfriend would ultimately push him away. And she said that it worked. Of course, many people had issues with this because there's many alternatives to this. And it isn't saying that she could have said she had a boyfriend instead of pretending to be a lesbian. However, what I've heard from several of my friends that are girls is that saying that you're in a relationship typically doesn't stop the guy from hitting on you. However, saying you're a lesbian probably would. I can definitely understand the backlash here because I do think the idea of pretending to be another marginalized group is always not a great thing. And also given that it appears she has haters from the show and people who are actually trying to make her out to seem like a bad person, something like this can definitely explode much bigger than it could for someone else. However, I do believe this action could be okay and I am very curious to hear your thoughts if you have other opinions as I would love to debate about this. But there's tons of gay men who try to be more masculine and straight when meeting other straight men or interacting in public. I forget the term, but this is done as a means to protect themselves because if they come across too gay, they might get jumped or even killed. Those men are essentially pretending to be another sexuality to avoid getting hurt. Women saying that they have boyfriends still won't stop them from getting hurt as other terrible men might still either take that as a challenge or a rejection and then attack the woman. Especially in both cases, the action of just adjusting their sexuality is to protect their lives is one more acceptable than the other. And in a situation where she might not have posted that, but just have said it to the guy hitting on her, is that bad? And also I understand where the backlash comes from because a lot of men and women in the industry attempt to gay bait for views or for money, which obviously can be unethical. However, I don't think this is what's happening here as she clarifies right away what the meaning of the note actually means. People who mock or attempt to cancel someone love to point out the fact that it's okay to cancel someone, even if there's bigger issues or actual issues that need attention. When in reality, we only have a certain number of hours in the day to actually spend caring about a topic. And if all our brain power is going towards one thing for that day, at least we are not focusing on actual pressing issues. I think it's gone on long enough where we are seeing people mocking dead people, which I think is absolutely so gross and so weird to do. So what happened and when did this happen? If you're not aware, V's grandmother passed a long time ago. V and his grandmother were very close and was someone that was even seen crying about many times during concerts or moments when he thinks about her. For example, during an episode of You Quiz on the Block, V talked about the emotional moments in which his grandmother had passed while he was touring with BTS. And there was no way for him to go home or really see his grandmother. This is really the hardest part about being an idol. Of course, there's endless nights, but really what makes it so difficult is that you have to give up your life 
to do this. And what you're getting paid for is the amount of hours that you are getting to put into your career and not with the things that actually really matter. And that money isn't really even enough because how can you put a monetary value on someone you love and not having enough time with them? There is not enough money in the world for that. Through the various times in which V has mentioned his grandmother, including the moment on you quiz, which was seven years after the death, people have taken these moments and decided to, to mock him. There's people within another fandom who love the idea of mocking V's gra dead grandmother. At first, when I read this, I also thought that was quite sick if it was true. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, I have not seen anyone mocking V's grandmother. What I did see was people claiming that V's phrase, I purple you, being mocked. I, and I don't agree with the mocking, but someone thinking that other fandoms love symbols or even inside jokes are corny is not unheard of. If they're not within the fandom, then yeah, they'll think it's corny. So a lot of people I've seen mock I purple you. However, I think it's odd that people are connecting I purple you to these grandmother because it was believed to be introduced around the same time or be dedicated that to his grandmother. However, I can't find any facts to verify this. I believe it was just a phrase that was made up by him. This is often why sometimes I feel like people in the fandom have way too much time because they'll sit there and debate things like, is it appropriate in the fandom to use purple you in this way because blah, 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 and then feel really bad if they were using it incorrectly. In reality, that's not what V was hoping for when he made the phrase. It was supposed to be a phrase that anyone can use with no meaning other than the fact that it was dedicated to ARMY. However, if you do know when and where V said directly that Purple U was about his grandmother, I'd love to see that. I do believe there's always a lot of misunderstandings and crazy stuff that goes on. We are also seeing people saying that V's Instagram got banned or whatever it was. People are specifically claiming shadow banned. So what happened and why are people saying this? People are claiming that over the last few weeks or so, V has been heavily losing followers and this is a result of his account being shadow banned. There's always these claims when an idol's social media numbers start to drop, and this is often due to the fact that these fans don't understand how social media works. And people were claiming that the reason V is shadow banned is because Blinks or Blackpink fans were mass reporting V's Instagram account daily, and this resulted in his account being limited. Shadow banned, if you don't know what it is, is when posts are not showing up to the fans or to the new people. And I want to say when an account gets reported, it only highlights a problem if there is a problem to begin with, and then the staff can take it down. However, if there's no problem with the account, nothing will happen to it. If there are things like shadow banning happening or genuine concern of this, I will say it would most likely come from the fans and not the people reporting the account. Let me explain. A lot of armies love to stay on V's page and just refresh. Some armies will even go as far as making 10 Instagram accounts just to like V's latest photo to make him seem a bit more popular. I've seen literal fan pages organize these things. That is probably going to cause a shadow ban more than a couple of haters reporting his page because Instagram will see those likes and interactions from fans as spam, which social media sites hate spam. However, I also think that people in the fandom aren't aware of what shadow ban even looks like. Shadow ban is not when an account uses used to get 5 million likes on their photo and now they have 4 million or 3 million. Shadow ban is when an account used to have 5 million but now has 2 likes. Not 2 million, just 2. That is an account that is actually being restricted and this is why I say it's unhealthy to just be monitoring an idol's account the way some of these fans do because when they notice the smallest differences they freak out. Now going back, why are allegedly some blinks spamming and reporting V's account? Some people are not happy about these several edited clips and edited photos of V and Jenny together. Some are saying it's more sensitive, intimate nude moments that are being made up and posted and fabricated, and this makes the fandom mad. We have seen moments where people believe it was V and Jenny kissing through a window. More intimate videos like that are being edited and made up. However, I don't think any of that is happening. I think it's just a select few very terrible fans that are way too obsessive. And I think overall, most Blinks don't care about the V and Jenny relationship to go this far with it and spend hours mass reporting an account just so that V never appears on their feed. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check on Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks for this lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.